Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Michael Essien to review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", high, high work rates, right footed, 3 star skills with a 3 star weak foot. In-game player traits, he has the long shot taker, in-game attributes. Uh, the card looks very interesting, okay? So, with Michael Essien, guys, in-game... For the new gen version of the game, we are going to be taking a look at someone who is a base lengthy card, which is an absolutely massive deal uh, because he already has very good pace. But when you give him the shadow chemistry style, it is a card that has pace and defensive capabilities. Now, if you're in the old gen version of the game, this card still looks absolutely fantastic because you're boosting pace and defending to be where it's at to work with a high, high work rate at a 90 for stamina, right? Now, with the way that this card looks in game, he definitely looks like he could be a more defensive oriented card because his shooting stats are not that high up there. However, if you go for an outside foot shot outside the 18 yard box, at least before, if, huge if, they patch it the uh, outside foot shot, then, you know, he's uh, he's a card that could potentially do that too. But we had to test him out more defensively because I feel like he's going to be that type of card mostly, right? So uh, pace will be at a 92-91, which is fantastic. Defensive stats in the 90s area for all of the important stuff while working with a high work rate, okay, for defense. Very, very good stuff there. Uh, passing on the card, also going to be in a pretty decent area. Um, there could be... There could be, okay, could be a situation where you can give this card an architect chemistry style and it would not be a bad choice. The reason being for this, guys, is because with a card like this on high, high work rates, he is still going to be base lengthy on the card, right? So because he's base lengthy and you as a midfielder are improving his passing capabilities as well as his physical capabilities, that could be a huge plus for a card like this. But again, it really depends on what you're looking for. I just noticed that my face cam is off for some reason. Why is it off for this? You guys see this? I'm going to move this up. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Anyways, um, yeah, so you can potentially give him an architect. Guys, there's so many different options that you can go with for a card like this. If you don't necessarily care about boosting his physical, you could also give him a catalyst to boost the pace uh, by a significant amount while giving him a passing boost. And guess what? He's still a lengthy player, right? So that's fantastic because for a card that is high, high work rates, that's gonna make those long runs. You guys know, man, I love Palinga a lot this year, right? Medium high work rate card. He on lengthy can make those types of runs. So. If you're on old gen, you just go shadow. If you're on new gen, gonna be more options to work with, right? And then for physical capabilities on the card, uh, he's in a pretty decent area too. Aggression is there, strength is there. For a card that is five foot ten with an average body type, it could be some very nice stuff. So the way that we're gonna be lining him up, guys, is gonna be in the Boris Legends four two three one. If you guys haven't checked out the video, be sure to do so. It is on the YouTube channel. Um, we're going to be using him in the right center defensive position next to Valverde. You guys know that Valverde is already a pretty meta-oriented card. And guess what? He is on an architect chemistry style, boosting the passing capabilities of the card, right? So passing being boosted while working with decent defensive capabilities, he still defends like a monster. There are moments where you would like the extra defense, absolutely. But guess what? In the midfield position, boosting passing and physical can be a very good thing to work with. You can see that when it comes to the community and the choices that they are making in regards to the chemistry style, they're giving him a shadow because they want him to be that more defensive oriented card, right? It's just one of those things you can work with. So guys, with Valverde, I think they're giving him a shadow because they probably saw it before the lengthy and then, you know, it's one of those types of things. We'll see, right? Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll be using him in that right center defensive position, just cover center. He'll be able to push forward, come back. All of that good stuff. So yeah, we'll see what he's like, man. Hopefully he is a beast. Nice, SCN. Bad pass by me, to be fair. Thank you, SCN. Need that, need that. Oh, try to work that finesse shot angle. SCN, oh. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Yes. The meta. Oh, 
Oh, that was AI there. But unlucky. Because that does still happen sometimes. Oh, can I get that? Let's go, SCN. Oh, I tried to do like a first time fake shot and then a Coqueta, but didn't come off. Let's go SCN. Nice finish. SCN getting involved in the attack there too. Nice. Guy has three goals for me so far. Oh, SCN actually tracked back there. That was good. Needed that. Took off a different level now, I'm telling you guys. Oof. Be careful with those bad boys. Oh, SC in well positioned, though. I'll take that. Super weird animations, but we move. Q, I it upwards there. Done. My little touches, man. Use his body. Listen, like I said, the card on a hunter, he's got fantastic finishing, so it's uh, it's helpful, you know. Yeah, no, his tracking is is really good. Like the fact that I can overcommit defenders and he's like in there, in their position like right away. That's that's very solid defensively. That's that's amazing to work with. Good challenge. Dude. Oh, that would have been so good, man. I'll take the jam. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Well done this year, EA. Well done with the physical type strikers, man. Well done. Honestly, this this whole lengthy thing, like, well done. Yes, Essien. It was a weak foot, too. Oh, he did well under composure, but the pressure tactics, man. Gotta be careful of those. Oh, he didn't get that one. Valverde was there, though. No, come on, man. Ah, oh. I had to run there, too. We'll take it. As seen with the interception, Trezeguet with the finish. I like it, boys. I like it. Very nice. Oh, I, I messed it up. Thank you, SCN. I still didn't score that after all those dribbles? Come on! You can see how fast he is on that lengthy. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. Ooh, Essien, relax, buddy. They have a family, my G. Oh, that was just beautiful. That was beautiful, man. Oh, both of them just going in there. He's definitely like more physical on that dribble. 
Oh, I just really want to try that. Definitely more physical. Go, Essien, I need that. His positioning for that CDM area is really good. I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. No. Close, I've seen close. Oh, if, I, if the game allowed me to switch to Essien there, I think I would have got that easily. Nice, Essien. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Essien icon card. Uh, guys, you know who he reminds me of? The, I'm going to give you like the perfect example. He kind of reminds me of someone like Kessier. You know what I'm saying? Because Kessier is a more defensive oriented, high, high work rate card as well. So I'm going to show you guys Kessier because he's a beast, lengthy by default as well. You give him the Shadow Chemist style, he has multiple options to work with on the lengthy too, which is a massive plus. You give this guy a Shadow Chemist style, we all know that he's really nice. But guess what? Essien, right, on that Shadow Chemist style has that extra pace, which is a huge plus, right? Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I really enjoyed using him. I thought his positioning defensive AI, uh, defensive AI wise was really nice. But even when I had him on the high, high work rate to balance instruction for CDM, the way that he would push forward and come back was really, really great. The only things, right? And this is you looking at it from like a perfect perspective is obviously he's not the more attacking oriented card. Like in my case, I have Valverde, right? So Valverde being one of the two CDMs, he's going to be a little bit better on the attack and actually commit forward in, in certain cases really nicely. SCN is a little bit more defensive oriented, which I don't mind because that actually creates a good balance in the team of a push forward comeback instruction, right? So in my opinion, I think SCN is really nice. Um, he is an SBC, so that adds a variable to the card because it's a card that you could put fodder into to unlock, right? And it's very interesting, right? Because he's this is for the new gen, right? But for the old gen shadow, he's still going to be a very nice card, right? But on the new gen version of the game, the fact that you can give this card an architect chemistry style and he's already working with good base defense, good base pace, and you can boost his in-game pace more to work with that high, high work rate while working with good defense and pace, it's a really nice card. Honestly, like I actually really enjoyed using him in the CDM setup. Like in my case, the CDM area and the defensive area is always the key areas of the pitch, right? Don't worry about London. I don't buy Courtois because of the money. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a review account. So, but Essien guys in that CDM position was really, really well balanced with Valverde next to him, right? And it's always very important to find that balance in your CDM. So, uh, for me personally, I think he's great. Uh, let me see the SBC here. I'm very curious about that. So the SBC is this one right here. He is 409K. On the market, he is the same exact price with a 50K difference plus, right? Um, seven different squads to unlock him. I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you guys choose to unlock this card, I think he's pretty solid in game. I actually don't mind him whatsoever. He genuinely reminds me of like Kessier, like because Kessier is more defensive. You don't want to use a card like this too much in a formation like a 4-4-2, right? That's for someone like Valverde to be using a 4-4-2. But if you're playing him in the CDM area next to somebody else, very well balanced in that position. I mean, technically you could play CDM in the 4-4-2, but it's just different in a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-1-2-1-2 because the card is situated in his general area really nicely. So um, for me personally, I liked him. I thought he was great. Um, if you guys want to do the SBC, uh, again, the only thing is that he's not going to be as attacking oriented, right? And obviously it would have been nice to give, an, to give him the weak foot, but it's not a big deal that he doesn't have. As long as you're playing him on the right side and your left CDM um, is, you know, four star weak foot at the very least or left footed, you're good to go, right? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.